Greenfield, it's Paul here at Greenshire. Um, I wanted to uh, catch back up with you on, on the elderberry shrubs. These uh, berries are coming very near ripe, and uh, this is what you're going to be looking for um, with the ripe berries. These aren't quite ready yet. Some, uh, they, some of them have been, and I came out last night and I picked, uh, I don't know, probably about 15 or 20 of these heads last night and uh, should have done a video, but it was a little too dark. I do have one over here that I found. I'm going to go ahead and harvest that, and then I'm going to go in the house and show you how I get all these berries off the, uh, the vines very, very simply. I'm um, going to zoom in on a couple here, too, and show you um, the difference between a head that is ready and, and that is not ready. And I also, I went and drove the roads uh, this morning. The, the wild, ones that are growing wild along the roadway, they're not even close. They all look like this. This one here, you can see the green berries. That's what they look like. So um, uh, that doesn't bother me because, like I said, I'm going to have an opportunity then to ha harvest all of my own and a, and a few others that are growing out here in my timber. And then uh, I'll have a, a little bit of time, and then I can go harvest those. They'll, they'll be a few weeks behind. So take the camera over here. I'm going to show you one that's ready. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. We'll go in the house, and I'll shuck it. But while I was out driving around, I wanted to tell you I found a, a pokeberry shrub. And uh, a lot of times people are nervous because you can't eat pokeberry. It's, it is toxic. And um, people get nervous because they're like, well, I'm not sure if it's pokeberry and elderberry. So I'm going to show you what a pokeberry looks like. It's not even close. So after I show that to you, you'll, you'll be a lot more confident in, in your ability to uh, identify the difference between the pokeberry and the elderberry. And while we're on that topic, I, I do want to tell you again, I've said it before, but I'll tell you again, do not eat these berries while you're harvesting them. They do have to be boiled before a human can eat them. The birds can eat them, but we can't. They are toxic weather in this state right here. You've got to cook them before you can eat them. So uh, pause camera, we'll go cut that one off. We'll shuck it, and I'll show you that pokeberry. Okay, um, this particular one right here is ready. There are two right here that are still a little too red. I'm going to pull those off. There's one right here. Uh, this is the closest thing I could find to a, a, a head that was ready. And uh, I think I see another one here. No, those are all good. We do have a little bit of spider webbing going on right here. I'll get that off too. But um, this head is, you can see all the berries are darkly colored. Um, whereas here on this one, you'll see that there's still a lot of berries that are substantially red. And there's even some ones that are green in here. Now. In some of the heads, like the ones I picked last night, there's still going to be an occasional green one. Uh, that's not a problem. Just just uh, pull that green one off, and uh, like I just did with these red ones. And uh, you can either do it while you're out here picking them, or you can do it while you're shucking them. So I'm just going to take my clippers, cut that head off just like right there, just like that, and then that that I would throw in my five-gallon bucket. Um, I'm going to go ahead and carry it up to the house because it's just the one, but. Uh, if, when I'm out doing my actual harvesting, I'm going to throw several of these in a five-gallon bucket. You know, I'll fill about two five-gallon buckets with these heads right here when I go da driving down the road. So, go in the house, we'll shuck that, and then I'll go show you that uh, pokeberry. Okay, um, people talk a lot about different ways of doing this, but um, I'm going to tell you I've been doing this a while, and the easiest thing to do is you just grab a hold of the berries very gently, like this and uh, use your fingers to pull them off. This, this is the most efficient way um, I've found to do it. Um, you see there, there, there aren't any stems in there. They're all still on the, the vine. Um, we, we got a couple here I'll pull off, but um, people say use forks and you know, all kinds of different things, uh, which, which is fine. I mean, you guys do what you want to do. Um, I've got a stem in here now, so I'll show you what I do. Um, but I just pull these berries off like that. And right here we've got a, a, a stem that came off. So not a big deal. There. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to bother to shuck the whole thing, but uh, you can see these berries, you know, that, that's all just fine. There's a little bitty stem right here. It's got a couple berries on it. I see it. Uh, even if that stem went into the pot with the boiling water. Uh, it's not going to end up in your syrup or your jelly or whatever it is you're making uh, with your elderberries, pie or anything. 
um, it, it might end up actually in your pie because uh, with, with, the, with the pie, you're not going to squeeze these through a cheesecloth. But um, that stem's not going to hurt you. And if that did end up in your pie, that little bitty stem right there, you're, you're not going to know. Nobody's going to know. And it's not going to hurt you to eat that. There is one little green berry right here. I'm going to go ahead and just reach in and grab it and pull it out. So that's it. Um, what I will do with these once we've shucked them all, uh, like I said last year, we got 11 pounds of berries. Uh, I just dump them into um, one quart freezer bags and um, we put them in the basement, down in the chest freezer in the basement. And then when she uh, needs some to either make pie or syrup or whatever it is she's going to use them for, she just goes down there and um, I'm trying to remember how many pounds of berries go in a uh, bag. But, um, you know, there, there, there is pretty much a set number. I don't remember what it is, but she can weigh the bag, and that way if she knows she needs two pounds, I think it's a pound and a half that fits in a quart bag. Um, if she needs two pounds, she knows that uh, she's going to need one and a half bags. Uh, it's, it's real simple. But um, I'm going to go ahead and jump in the car, and we're going to run out there where that pokeberry is, and I'm going to show that to you here real quick. Okay. That's a pokeberry. That you see that purple stalk there, um, and then those those green berries. Now, when those berries are ripe, they're going to be dark purple, just like the elderberry, and that's where people get the the confusion. But you see that purple stalk. That doesn't look anything like an elderberry shrub. You see the size of the leaves. Those leaves are gigantic, and then the berries grow like I was telling you earlier in the one video. They grow in more of a column than a floret. So not even close um, you, that that should give you plenty of confidence right there whether you're looking at a pokeberry or an elderberry not even not even close so this is Paul Greenshire thanks for watching if this helped you out please give me a click on the uh, like button and, and subscribe and we'll talk to you later thanks for watching